Morning everybody, happy new year. We're just out for a morning walk on top of the moor. Seems bizarre that it was only a number of weeks back. I was up here with Rosie for the first time and she was in my pocket. Now look at her. Hey Rosie! <laughs> There's lots of rabbits up here so they've got lots to sniff. It's tying me in knots at the moment. There we go. But Rosie's doing remarkably well. She's five months old now. She's nearly lost all her puppy teeth. Got a couple more to go. Absolutely full of fun. Very loving, very caring, very affectionate. And Louis putting up with her. <laughs> But that thing I said, does it take a, a dog to turn another dog? You can actually watch Rosie and see Louis do something and Rosie's watching him and then she'll do exactly the same thing. Which I think is really funny. And they grow so quick, I know I keep saying this, but they grow so quick. If you think that a dog year is equivalent to seven human years, you can definitely see that. So as I say, Rosie's five months now. When she gets to about eight months, she'll come on heat for the first time. And then a couple of months after that, we'll get her into the vets and have her spayed, have her, have her sterilized. So we don't intend to breed from her. It's a lovely morning up here. The sun's just coming up. Thinks about minus four this morning. It's just a light breeze. And we've had snow all the way through from Christmas Eve. We live probably about, I think it's just under 800 foot above sea level. So even though the other lower villages don't have any snow, we've had it all the way through. Rosie's also moved from puppy food onto adult food so she has the same dried biscuits and a bit of wet food from pooch and mutt as Louie has and she's doing really well on that come on <laughs> come on let's go the last video if you haven't seen it was 24 questions about whippets it's obviously I get lots of questions about whippets and I don't think I'm an expert in any way I've just had some and there's far more experienced people out there and a lot of them put lots of comments and a lot of advice in there. So if you need to know anything specific about that, have a look at those comments. Also, if you uh, follow us on Instagram, we put some on there nearly every day. And that's probably the best way to contact us through the private messaging on Instagram. Our Instagram account is with it one man and his. I'll put the link in below. So if you have any questions, if I can answer them, I will uh, gladly send you a response. Of the holidays, um, a friend of man's daughter was trying to buy a puppy, uh, not a whippet. Um, they wanted a, I think it was a cockapoo or a labradoodle, and they used the same website as I did to find a breeder. Um, and they got photographs, they had feedback from the breeder, and emails back from them, and even video clips. But it all turned out to be a scam. And unfortunately, it was put under pressure to say there's only one left. And if you want it, there's, there's lots of people coming. The first person to give us £500 deposit, you'll get the puppy. And as soon as they paid the money, transferred the money into the bank account, that was the end of it. So they reported to the police and everything, but there's not a lot you can do. So be aware, if you're looking for dogs, obviously you can look on the internet unless you know people. But I would highly recommend that you actually go to the house of the breeder and meet with them. That, that means you know their address, not in a car park, not in a pub, actually to their place of where they live. You see the puppy, the other puppies that are there, the parents of the puppy, or at least the mother, if it's been with a stud, before you hand any cash over. And if you can, if it's a business as a breeder, pay by credit card and you do get some coverage there. And the puppy should come to you with at least two of their injections, a vet's report and their chip inserted as well. So if there's any concerns early on that they're not going to do that, 
you need to start asking questions and maybe start to look somewhere else. But certainly don't send any money until you've actually met with them and got some reassurance that they are genuine people. Also on Instagram, um, somebody sent me a link, I'll put, I'll put these in now, of uh, a picture of me and Louie and a comment that we'd got a puppy off this particular person and this was a complete scam. It was a place in America that had taken all the photographs and the clips of puppies and feedback off the internet. They'd put them on their website and they was getting people to send them deposits. Now thanks to Gadget John for sending me some uh, uh, emails to actually re uh, report this and get it taken down. It was taken down quite quickly. But there's obviously lots of scams out there so be very cautious. I don't know about you but I love the seasons of the UK. And certainly when you get weather like this, it's just beautiful. And there's nobody about being winter and particularly now being locked down. So you got the place to yourself more or less. Just see the farmer taking some hay out for the sheep. Not a bad morning view though, is it? Rosie's very playful, very puppy playful. <laughs> Louis so laid back. He just lets things bounce around him. He's like, oh yeah, whatever. Hi you Rosie, full of it. Eating snow. You found some sheep poo. Tying yourself in knots with the lead. You a good girl. You a good girl. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. Another whip it knot. No, we're not going back yet. I don't really want to let them off up here because there's some big holes covered in snow and there's lots of rabbits, there's still some sheep around. <laughs> but they're desperate to have a run, they'll have a run in the garden when they get back and more play fighting. <coughs> now when Louis had enough he will tell her and she'll learn from that and they sort themselves out basically. But they do enjoy playing with each other even when Rosie does get a bit over the top. Wait! That'll do! No! Good girl! Good girl! Come on! Come on! Wait! Wait! Good girl! And the training of using words like that and no obviously pays off. The sun's just coming over the hill there. Moon's still up. Don't know if you can see that. It's one of the highest points in the North York Moors, this. It's just spectacular. Every time you come up, even if it's two or three times a day, every time you come up it's different. It's something different. The cloud formations, the lights. It's just pretty incredible. Louis looking for rabbits. <laughs> what is it, Lou? Hey. And Rosie's tying herself round my legs, trying to find sheep poo or rabbit poo. Rosie! You eating snow now? <laughs> the snow's still quite thick. I'm just uh, three, four inches maybe. Our camper van's now in with uh, Aid and Joe at All Things Timber. So that'll be in there for five, six, seven weeks to get all refitted. We're so looking forward to that. We took that last Sunday and uh, good job we did because it was a break in the weather and we managed to get down the hill. Um, and onto the main roads, but coming back was watching the temperature gauge and it was four degrees, three degrees, two degrees, minus one, but thankfully we managed to get back. But on the way there, we had to take a bit of a detour. About two miles from where we live, there was a gritting truck that skidded off the road and ended up in a ditch that closed all the roads. So it's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Imagine driving a gritting lorry that skids off and ends up on the road. <laughs> Anyway, by the time we got back, it was all clear and very well gritted, surprisingly. This camera really doesn't do this justice up here. But we're up here every morning, well, two or three times a day some days. Just love it, absolutely love it. And when we had all the thick snow, we had a heavy day's snow. Um, got the mountain bike out, the e-bike which is all done now, it's had a new motor fitted. The e-bike is a Powerfly 7 by Trek. 
and uh, it has the Bosch motor, the new Bosch motor in it and I've had it 10 months and I've done 700 miles on it and they have fault codes that they can read when you take it in for a service and mine had 8 faults on it which is the maximum you can have but Trek and uh, Bosch and Big Bear Bikes in Pickering sorted it instantly in 24 hours of it going in it had a new motor fitted, all reprogrammed and I got it back it's like a dream and the good thing with that as well is that the motor comes with a two-year warranty when you buy the bike but if you have the remote to replace you get a new two-year warranty which is fantastic so i'll stick a couple of clips in now so you can see what it was like in the snow I wish I had took some skiing goggles because you couldn't see for the life of you where you was going. Great fun, absolutely great fun. It's surprising we didn't see anybody else out there. <laughs> You're not supposed to knock me over. <laughs> You're a good girl, aren't you? Have you got one as well? You got one as well? Have you? It's not a toy, this, it's a camera. Imagine a perfect day Absolutely flawless in every way That's the day I'm having right now I pinch my arm to I could stay 